What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today we're looking at the Melbourne Special Event results. I have the top 8 players and decks and then some notes on the top 32 and top 8. It was a special event held in Australia with 127 Masters. Played in the standard format Ultra Prism through Unified Minds. And next week Hidden Fates gets added to the standard format. So the top eight players, we had some notable players playing in this tournament like Henry Brand, Kaiwin, Clifton Go, and Henry Brand and Kaiwin both made it into the top eight here. So uh, Pika Ram, Ability Rushy, Greens Rushy, Mewtwo, Pika Ram, Ability Rushy, Quagnag, and Greens Rushy in that order. The top eight consisted of two Rushies, one Ability, one Greens, a Quagnag, and Pika Ram, and then top four was Greens Rushy and Mewtwo. And semi-finalist, I'm sorry, finalist was Ability Rushy, and the winner was Pika Ram. And we'll be looking at all the lists here, and then some notes at the end on the top 32 and the top 8. First place, Kaiwen Kababi with Pika Ram. So uh, if you watched some of my previous videos, you'll know I like to highlight some things that I want to talk about in the video. And he played two Power Plant and no Lysander Labs. Uh, this means that there's no counter for Fairy Charm Lightning, which uh, Guardian usually plays two of. But it looked like Guardian was non-existent for this tournament because of all the ability rushy. And then uh, his supporter lineup is four Lily, three Vulcan or something I'm not a fan of personally. But he did win the tournament, uh, played against some good players on his way there. So I can't say that... It is bad, but I do think it's objectively worse than, like, say, 4 Vulcan or 3 Cynthia. And then the Sigalyph GX, something he played at Worlds as well, that I cannot uh, understand how it's working for him consistently. He's just using it as, like, the mirror, uh, the mirror ability. Like, uh, if it gets hit by a GX, it hits them back. So you switch into... You switch into it when you use Raichu GX's GX attack, or you just leave it out there as like a wall while you set up. Uh, I I don't mean to rip apart his list. Obviously, he won the event and he did well at Worlds, so it's working for him. But the list is not how I prefer to build Pika Rom at all. And then uh, the Mew for the Mirror, uh, I kind of like that actually. But yeah, this is the first place list, and you can uh, export the list on Limitless TCG as well as all of the other lists in this video. Second place, Angus Johnson with Ability Rushy. Pretty simple list, not too far off of uh, the Limitless list from Worlds. He did add a Tapu Fini and a Mew from Unbroken Bonds. The Mew for the Pika Raw matchup and the Tapu Fini for the Blounds matchup. Uh, oh, and also the Volcanion from Unbroken Bonds, which uh, is an okay single prize attacker. Can be good versus Malamar for when you're gusting up the Mallies, you just swing into them with Volk, and that's not bad at all. Third place, Carol Pointer with Green's Reshizard. Very, very straightforward list. The four great potion, four mixed herbs, makes me think that they were expecting a lot of Mally, or they just net decked from Worlds. Either way, uh, the list is perfectly fine. I just think the four great pot, four mixed herbs is a little bit obnoxious of for the healing counts, unless you're expecting to play against a lot of Malamar. Fourth place, Henry Brand, our world champion. So he made a couple changes from his worlds list. He dropped uh, the fire crystal for an energy recycle system, and he dropped an acro bike for a Wobbuffet. Um, and he. I meant to highlight the Wobbuffet there, that is my bad. I, instead I highlighted the Marshadow, which of course he's still playing, because that's very important to remove uh, opposing power plants. But yeah, so um, he kept the Cobalion GX, and he uh, cut an Acro Bike for the Wobbuffet. And the Wobbuffet was mainly for the Ability Rushy matchup, since Wobbuffet's ability reads, while this Pokemon's on your bench, both players, Prism Star Pokemon, have no abilities and no attacks. So it... Uh, makes it so that the opposing Rushy cannot swing with Victini Prism unless they gust up the Wobbuffet, and that means they're not killing a GX Pokemon, which is very good for you. Um, still very, very good list. Obviously, he won Worlds with it and then made a couple changes and got top four here, but my issue still lies with 
the lack of a counter for Keldeo GX, um, such as a non-GX account, non-GX attacker, like we saw Robin Schultz play at Worlds, he used a Turtonator Dragon's Majesty, or something like adding Rainbow or Water Energy and then using the Greninja GX from Detective Pikachu, which swings 130 and goes through abilities, or goes through effects. Um, because, like, if your opponent has multiple Keldeo GX, you can swing with the double blaze to take one knockout but after that i'm not sure what you can really do there there's not much you can do to get through multiple keldeo so i guess you just take that loss with this list um but i'd probably be comfortable adding a turtonator in this place brent tonneson with a different pikaram list still playing the mew for the mirror um and then here he's playing two lysander labs while first place played two power plants um, I do like the labs because of Guardian, but if they had such a hard read on their metagame that there was going to be no Guardian, um, then I guess not playing labs was okay. Uh, but I would, I'm more of the safe, I would probably go the safe route and play labs because Guardian can be rough even with the labs, but it's an auto loss without them. Um, and I kind of like Aranguru in my list too, but the Mew is nice. So again, if you're expecting a lot of mirror match, Mew is really good. Other than that, uh, the list was built for consistency, and uh, also using the lilies, which I, uh, I've i grown to not like, but some people still stick by the lily. Uh, the four switch and one escape board is really interesting. Uh, most lists are like two and two or three and two. Uh, but yeah, nothing to complain about here. Pretty simple list. I like the Mutech and the Lysander Labs for expecting spell tags and Guardian. <clears throat> Aaron Stringfellow with Ability Rashi at 6th place, also playing the Tapu Fini, and also playing the Volcanion, but uh, he did not play the Mew on Broken Bonds like 2nd place did, and 2nd uh, place obviously lost to Pico Ram in the finals anyway. But this is, again, uh, super, super close to the Limitless list from Worlds, um, just not playing the Super Scoop Ups. Pretty much across the board, everybody online has agreed that they don't like the three super scoop ups and they're putting in a couple other things in place of them. So uh, here Aaron has put the Tapu Fini, the Volcanion, and I'm not sure what replaced the other super scoop up here in his list actually. I, I was looking for that before the video and couldn't find it either. But he did cut the Super Scoop Ups. Oh, the third switch. So, uh, third switch, Volcanion, and Tapu Fini replace the three Super Scoop Ups here. Um, I'll I'll note about the Tapu Fini and the Mutex in just a few moments here at the end of the video, or towards the end of the video. Um, J Tyrell with Quagsire and Naganadel playing Mew. A lot of Mew in, at this tournament, um, or at least in the successful decks. So he's playing like the Keldeo Nagquag and also using the Magikarp Whale Lord, which I really like. And uh, he included a Quagsire in Broken Bonds, which is the fighting type Quagsire that uses water energy. Uh, so the Quagsire and the Mew are countering Pika Rom, kind of. And then the Quagsire can just hit Fighting Weakness on anything, obviously, but uh, really good really good versus Pika Rom. And uh, I, I do like this deck, but there's also a version with like Mute 2 and some Stage 2 attackers that I've seen that I'm also interested in. Uh, but I've been toying around with a couple different builds for Quagsire and Naganadel. And then 8th place, we've got Joshua Bradley with Greens Reshi, kind of like Rahul's list, uh, but playing 11 Fire 1 Fighting, kind of like the list I spoke upon in my top decks for Week 2 of Unified Minds. Uh, whereas Rahul, I believe, played 10 fire, 1 fighting. I do like the 11 fire, 1 fighting. Uh, I like the Lusamine since they're playing 1-1-1-1-1 one, 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 one of stadiums and only one of those are a prism and the rest you can get back. And then the uh, the 4 mixed herbs to Great Pot makes sense to me. Like I said, I thought the other greens Reshi, the top 4 list, had kind of an abundant amount of uh, healing that might be uh, overkill if, you, if you're not playing against like all Malamar. Uh, but yeah, so I like this list. The Energy Spinner, One Fiery Flint seems fine. Um, the Power Plant, Lysander Lab, Shrine of Punishment, Martial Arts Dojo. I really like the uh, the spread of stadiums. 
Except uh, the power plant can be really, really necessary for like the Mewtwo matchup, namely. So if you're going into best of one, I actually have cut the labs for a second plant for best of one testing. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like this list. It's pretty simple. It's close to Rahul's. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't really have much to say negative about most of the lists, except ironically the first place list kai Wen. i just do i just do not like his lists um the sigalith the the lilies the power plants the lack of labs more so than the power plants uh just some things that i don't agree with but he did he was successful with it so take note of that um so these are just my notes overall about the results four out of eight decks in the top eight included a mew from unbroken bonds and two out of eight decks in top eight include Tapu Fini. Brand's Mute 2 box made it to top eight without an answer to multiple Caldeo GX. Ability Rushy and Green Rushy decks have remained very similar to the lists that were successful at World Championships like we just saw. I said about the Ability Rushies, these look super similar to Limitless's World's decks. And then the Green Rushy, I was like, this looks just like Rahul's deck. Um, there were three Blacephalon GX decks in top 32 and one bubbled it in ninth. So I just wanted to kind of mention that because I was mentioning that there were two Tapu Fini Unified Mind techs in the top eight, and wanted to note that there were indeed Blacephalon GX decks present. And almost half of the top 32 were Rushizar decks, 14 out of 32, and 12 were ability and two were greens. So that is the end of my little analysis on the Melbourne special event and my notes looking at the top 32 and top eight results. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And remember, I said that the lists, you can export them from LimitlessTCG.com. Um, if I didn't mention that, I'm mentioning it now, but I'm pretty sure I did. Be sure to check out FlipSideGaming.com and use code CELIO, all caps, for 10% off of your next order, $10 or more. They have pretty great prices on singles, sleeves, codes, anything of the sort. And I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.